and we are at Girls with Pearls, and we are with Tamika Bell. Okay, Miss Bell. All right. Well, thank you. It was a great experience. I really enjoyed it. So very inspiring people. And who are you sitting with? I am sitting with the lovely Councilwoman Maria Cabrera. We go way back. I mean, many, many years. I met Kamika. She just inspired me, and she just has big ideas, oh, big dreams. And she cares so much about our youth and our community, especially the young ladies. So what Kamika does with her program, Girls with Pearls, is that she teaches these girls at a very young age the leadership skills that it takes to excel in anything, whether it's their education, their careers, community service. And to me, it is so inspiring, which is why I will always be a supporter of Kamika and this program. So how long has this been going on, Girls with Pearls? Sure. Yeah, we've been stuck since our 12th year. Wow. It's been a long journey, but it's a blessing. and, and this being a leader, leadership on people say, oh, you're a leader, you're leading the an organization, but there's a cost for leadership. It's a price that you have to pay, and some people are not willing to pay, to pay the price. When I look at what she's doing now, she is a leader, and I kind of shared that with her, and I don't know if she still has aspirations to go beyond what she's doing. Girls with pearls, when we talk about the pearls, it's not that we're wearing pearls, it's that every pearl signifies wisdom, pearls of wisdom, which is something I mentioned when I spoke. And that really, I mean, I imagine that that is the inspiration, or, or maybe if you don't mind me asking the question, what was your inspiration for starting the program? Well, I have a pageantry background, and Maria knows I used to compete in pageants a very, very long time, and actually I share a lot about that in my book that's being released soon. I just allow the guests to know, to scan a QR code, and they can see the copy of my introduction and my excerpt. So I basically tell the story of um, how pageantry changed my life to save my life from the age of 13 witnessing my you know cousin that was 13 years old but my cousin was six years old who was killed in a crosswalk fire um, in Chester Pennsylvania so that's where my activism voice really started um, where I really wanted to get out and help um, with gun control and you know sense and violence in the city of Chester and that's how my life changed from this shy young lady it was my savior escaping from being in the inner city, violence, teenage pregnancy, but having a wonderful mom. I think. And that's how my career pageantry started from the teen pageants, competing in the Miss America preliminary pageants to the Miss Black Pennsylvania, when I'm competing in the Miss Black USA pageants. So those pageants helped define me uh, with the public speaking skills, being on time. Um, I teach my girls preparation leads to elevation, being kind, being a service um, to your community, and that's where I got that civic um, responsibility and community service. So that's how I started, and never thought I would be doing this type of work, you know, right now, pouring back into young girls. And um, I believe this is this is my purpose. This is my purpose right now. Yes, if you live in Wilmington, um, they can always go to our social media page, it's Girls with Pearls, or they can visit our website at www.gwpearls.com. That's www.gwpearls.com, or they can call our office line, which is 302-276-8337. And you mentioned if they don't live in Delaware, I have been getting inquiries to do work, I just got somebody reach out from Georgia. Like, oh, can you come and do like a, something in my school? So I am open to talk to young girls, not only, even though this is my hometown, this is my passion. I love Delaware. Um, this state has been wonderful. There's people like Maria and other people in the city has been a tremendous blessing. But I know that God has called me to do more. Well, I want to thank you both for your inspiration. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. for I want to thank you for all the people that can't say thank you to you.